the sound test room. Hello and welcome to the sound test room. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching the Hack Attack show. This is a tutorial on how to make bell presets for Thor. There have been people asking me on how I do this. So I thought I'd just show you how it's done. Thor is an amazing synthesizer and I know most of you know that. I love this synthesizer so much. I use it for everything. It's my number one synthesizer and it was a breeze, you know, making bell sounds for it. And I'll show you why. Let's just open up a new one and uh, we're going to choose a template and we're going to take the simple analog reset. We're going to go to the knob section and we are going to clear it out just like this. And now it's clear. So uh, we also need to go to the keyboard. Now I want to have eight in polyphony for this and I also want eight in release polyphony just like that and then we go to knob choosing the right waveform for making bells are important and Thor has two really good choices for this it has a wavetable oscillator that includes waveforms perfect for bells and also a FM pair oscillator but in this one I'm gonna show you how to do it with the wavetable one It doesn't sound that interesting. Well, I, I, I kind of like it. Either way, just go into the table select and then you can browse through the different waveforms. Now, sine waveforms are perfect for making bell sounds. And you have quite a few. You have sync signed, you have the uh, sine harmonics, 10 signs, 5 signs, random signs, fixed signs, uh, racing signs. And down here, you also have the PP the PPG P, P, P? PPG to bell. Let's just choose that one and listen to it. And let's cycle through the different waveforms included here because these waveforms aren't just one. There are actually multiple waveforms in here and you can switch between them with this knob right here. And if you remove the X fade, you can actually hear where the different waveforms are placed. When the X fade is ticked, then it seamlessly blends these waveforms in with one another. So let's listen to it with it on. And with it off, it sounds like this. So now you can hear the different waveforms. Let's tick that so it's on. And then to make this sound more bell-like, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to raise this octave to five and then I'm going to make this position, this knob jump uh, by using the modulation envelope. So we go to the routing window and we're going to choose in the source. You see you have three different spaces here and in this space you can use one source, one destination, one scale. One source, two destinations and one scale. And here you can use one source, one destination and two scales. We're going to use this window today. It's going to be simple. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose the modulation envelope and I'm going to send that to the oscillator one mod. And the oscillator mod is this knob right here. Now we can control this knob with the modulation envelope right here. I'm going to turn down the position of this one to zero and back to the routing window and I'm gonna affect the mod up 100% so anything I do here will affect this knob 100% you can hear that right Now the sound needs to be a bit shorter for it to be more bell-like. So I'm going to use the amplitude envelope to shape that. And now we're going to add a filter just to smoothen out the sharp notes a bit. So usually I use low pass filters um, for this. So the low pass ladder loaded into the filter slot and then I'm gonna drive it up a bit. 
And I w also want the filter to be affected by the velocity when I'm playing. So when playing a key, the higher up you play, the less velocity it puts out. And the further out you play on a key, the more velocity it gets put out. And I want to control the filter with the velocity, so I just have to turn up this knob. And now we can hear it. If I just do this first, so you really can hear it. At this stage, I usually like to shape the envelope controlling the filter, and that is actually the filter envelope. So, now we have a bell. I add some delay here, just pull up the dry wet knob a bit. Make sure that I modulate the delay tail just a little bit. It sounds beautiful. As you can see in the routing window, we've only used one line in the routing matrix. So you can actually start adding stuff to make it sound even more beautiful. Now something I like doing is to make sure that this page includes some kind of controller that can change the sound of something drastically or just a little titty bit. So we're gonna add one more controller to make it interesting. We go to the routing window and we're gonna choose, you see, this is rotary one, rotary two, button one, button two. Go to the routing window and let's place it down here. We go down, I'm in the mod source, we go down to modifiers. And here you can see the rotary one, rotary two, button one, button two. And we're gonna choose rotary one. So it's the first knob right here. And we're gonna send that, we're gonna let it control the filter envelope decay and pull it up to 100 and now when we pull the knob the sound's gonna change let's remove the delay so you can hear it it's not much but it's enough use the same knob to control more stuff modifiers and then rotary one and let's use it to change the oscillator one mod. This thing uh, right here. The same one we're using the uh, modulation envelope to modulate. And we're gonna, you know, pull it up just a little bit, like that, 50. Go to the keyboard, and now when we pull that knob, we're both gonna change the decay of the filter envelope and also the modulation of the positions between the waveforms on the oscillator one. Now, small, small changes that makes the sound completely change. And when you have four controller elements like this and you fill them up in the matrix, then you can make one sound into multiple sounds just by tweaking these knobs. So it takes a bit of time, you know, creating your own patches, but it is awesome when you're done. And when you're playing live, you're gonna be so grateful you did that. Now go create your own cool sounding bell presets. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney and me, Jakob Hacke at TheSoundTipsRoom.com wishes you a very productive week.